Guys, did you see the Javi video last week? Yes. No. Actually, yeah. Man, Ben really kicked the crap out of me, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anything. And I need to get back at him. You have any ideas? Uh, Ron, you've given us some work to do uh, based on football research. Please, so can you do it? Football, you say? Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Hello Sports Tech. We have a beautiful sunny day in the winter of Berlin, so we've been quite lucky. And today we're going to be testing some apps for ballet. Yeah, no cheesy joke there, but no, we're actually going to be testing some football apps. It's actually smart shin pads called Humanox. Uh, so yeah, this should be a fun day. Let's have a crack at it. All right, so like I said, these are smart shin guards. Uh, they come in a little case like this. This is a charging box. Um, once you've got them all nice and charged up, these are the shin pads that you just put into your football stockings. Uh, it's pretty simple. Once, you're, once they're in, they're going to track all your data. Apparently, all your passes, the speed that you run at, how long you've been running, all that good stuff. Uh, the setup was pretty simple. You calibrate it to the mobile app, which you get on, your, uh, on Android and iOS. And then you just put them in your socks and start playing football. Pretty fun, no? Okay, during COVID times, uh, you can't exactly have a football match at play. So I'm going to test out uh, these shin guards, which are all set up, all calibrated. Uh, just running around, do some dribbling. I've got Ben here with me. I'm going to just do some right foot, left foot kicks and see how much data this thing connects. Just passing against... Uh, ben is being my wall right now. The Berlin wall. Berlin wall. Let's see what we can do. That was us done with uh, Humanox testing. I'm going to end with my three things I like, one thing I don't like, and our overall conclusion. Number one that I like, the fact that these shin pads exist, that you as an end user can buy them retail from their website is very cool, making this technology, really cool technology, accessible to anyone. Number two, uh, the shin pads themselves, actually they fit pretty comfortably on your shin. I didn't find them intrusive. I don't think we lost protection either because they are... Uh, because uh, they're the same size as regular shin pads. Um, so yeah, super easy to play with. Uh, and number three, I would say the analytics itself. The moment you end your session, end your game, you straight away see the list of all the data scores, uh, how far you've ran, what distance you've covered, how many kicks on right foot, left foot, all of that data is available. So you can compare it over time as well. Now, my area for improvement, for some reason, it didn't get my kicks on my left foot as well as it did on my right. I think maybe just my left foot is not strong enough, who knows. Uh, but on my right foot, it got all my beautiful pings to bend. Left foot, not so much, but I think the sensors will improve over time. Overall, from me and my green horsey friend, it's a double thumbs up. I didn't yeah. even realize that it's a horse. Yes, Ben, it was. Now, if you guys can quit horsing around, please like, share, subscribe. It's all right here. You know what to do. So let's do this.